right, welcome back to um, um, the Wiley Legacy Challenge. So this is really great right now, guys. Um, this, I am not sure even what part this is off the top of my head, part 26 maybe? I don't know. Um, anyway, so we have a lot of things happening. Um, Cricket is dying and Onyx and Rosie are dying. So this is really a great way to start the part, right? Um, our Sims are going to be grieving this one for quite a while. So that's, that's great. I don't know why June has hunger failure because she is, um, not hungry. Um, I don't really understand what that's about. Um, I think I'm going to reset her because that's not great. Okay. Um, Nova needs to go to work, which she should do. Um, so the Grim Reaper is here for Rosie and Onyx, which is just great. He's taking all our animals right now. Everyone's depressed. This is just, you know, a great time for everybody. Oh, poor Rosie. Can we pray for her? No? Okay. Well, we have to ask the Grim Reaper, and he's not showing up yet. So let's hurry on up. I literally just wrapped up the last part, and I was like, okay, we're ending the last part. And then... It told me I couldn't save, and then boom, I got these three notifications all at once. And I was like, great. So, also, I don't know if the Grim Reaper is, like, coming to get Rosie and Onyx. Um, maybe he's dealing with one over the other. I don't know. We just have two dead cats laying in our house, and um, no Grim Reaper in sight. So, we're going to reset Onyx. Um, and we're gonna reset Rosie and see if they, like, still die or if they, um, are fine. We'll see. Can I exit and save? I can. Okay, so I think they're, like, fine right now. Maybe. I totally don't know because I was, that was not my intention to save them and, like, cheat death here. Um, I just genuinely was, like, well... Um, I was just genuinely like, I don't know what to do because the Grim Reaper is not coming for either of them. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. Um, so we'll see if the Grim Reaper comes back at any point. I don't know. That's not like a good thing to wish, but like, I'm just really confused. Um, I think maybe he got a little overwhelmed with all the amount with the amount of animals that um were coming um that were needing him I guess you could say they're fine so but Willow is extreme activity withdrawal it's too cold and too she's too uncomfortable um so I don't know what she should do it's too cold to go swimming so where is she I think we're gonna have her go for a jog Oh no, Willow knows that. Willow just didn't think that she would be thinking about it so soon. How, there's still so much to do. How will Willow get everything done if the desk is around the corner? Is it just safer to hide forever? Willow, sweetie, why are we miserable? Oh, oh, because she should not be, she should not be running so much because she is old. Okay, they don't have the stamina they used to and she's exhausted. Okay, so, um... Why don't you go home? Are you already home? Can you go home? Can you, can you go home? Hurry up. Hurry up and go home, but not hurry, don't hurry too fast, because, because we know what happens if you hurry too fast. Your stamina will get out and you'll die. Okay, this is the third time that Onyx and Rosie have tried to die. Let's see if either of them actually die this time. Really? Okay, so there goes Onyx. Thank you. Um, not really thanks, but you know what I mean. Okay, he took her. Kind of. Well, he took out his thingy, his slashing thing, but Rosie's still laying there. Okay, Rosie's in an urn. Great, both cats died. Lovely. This is not fun for your Sims animals to die, and like, I don't really know how to react other than being like, and, like irritated with the Grim Reaper. Um, so we're gonna just, you know, put the cats in the inventory for now. Okay? Okay. Well, in the morning, 
once everybody wakes up, I'm going to have Nova and June go find out the gender of their baby and then maybe go on a date. I'm not really sure. So let's see the ultrasound. Um, it is one baby and it is a girl. Oh, I thought for sure it was going to be a boy. Okay. Well, that's cool. We're going to have a girl. <laughs> so we are going to name this June and Nova's girl. Girl. Okay. Because we don't have a name for her yet. So they'll have to, when they go on their date, they'll have to talk baby names, try and figure it out. And um, they're going to talk baby names and go on a little date. Maybe they'll feel better. Um, so we're going to pack the French toast. All right. So they are here at the picnic and it, at the park, and it is apparently very hot, um, which is kind of odd because it's fall. Um, so they're going to go ahead and put out, can they not place the picnic basket, place the picnic basket, set up the picnic, and they're going to have their little picnic. Um, I don't think they're going to be flirty at the same time because they are severely depressed due to this whole cat situation. Again, fair, valid, I get it, but, um, we should probably still eat because we don't want them to die of starvation. That would be not great. <laughs> so I'm going to have them come over here and I'm going to, um, let's see, where do they have, yes, deep conversation. We're gonna have them talk about what they're going to name their baby, what they're gonna do when the baby's here, everything that comes along with that. So they're just discussing that while eating their French toast. They are going to uh, have a little kiss here. Marie um, Poshima? Veringo! We're gonna... Oh. Um, okay, great. Brianna's making well. friends. Jibby. Noby. Yep, sure. <laughs> okay, let's see. So cute. Look at Nova's face. She is, like, so excited to see that June, um is like actually showing and that they're having a little girl all right so i know they're very sad about having lost um the cats again valid how many times can i say that but i feel like to help cope with their grief getting another pet would be nice um i want to see who they've got when it'll load <gasps> cashew and zoe are they're all cute okay let's see if it'll load um, I want them to get a puppy, Tuppy, and Cashew is so cute, and maybe Abby, because she's really cute, and we'll see what we get <laughs> with these puppies. We'll see if we like any of them and want to take any of them. Um, we probably will not take all three, but, you know, one, maybe two would be nice, um, and also, I feel like it would be nice to um, get a puppy established before the baby comes because I feel like having a puppy and a baby at the same time might be a little chaotic. Um, so, let's come over here and give a friendly introduction to that puppy. And then we're, we're each going to tackle a puppy. <laughs> that sounds awful, tackling puppies. Um, we're each going to look at a puppy and see which one um, we like, if any. Um, so we are going to get to, we're gonna give her a treat because that's a good way to build a friendship. And then I'm going to have her get to know this dog a couple of times. Um, I really want Tuppy because Tuppy's a big dog, but it's really gonna depend on Tuppy's personality. Um, whether or not we get Teppy. So let's see, Get to come get to know Teppy. Um, okay, you have to give her a friendly introduction oh. first. Oh. Willow, come over here to get to know, which one's this one again? I don't remember. Okay, uh -huh. we're gonna get to know these pups, see what they're all about. Um, let's see. Nova, go see that puppy. 
Okay, Willow has met this one. So we are going to have her get to know this puppy and see what we are feeling. I'm thinking maybe we're only gonna get one for okay. now just because oh, they're a lot of work golden. and I want to make sure that we are taking good, better <laughs> care of these dogs than we did our cats um, and giving them more attention yeah. and love and um, all those things. Abby is hairy and active. Neither are awful things. It just means we need to vacuum more. Um, I'm really curious about these guys. I want to see what they're like and if they're going to be good family dogs. Okay. So we have to think about that since they're going to be having their baby soon. Teppy is playful. That's good. Um, let's see. Abby is also playful. So Abby would be a good fit. She's active, hairy, and playful. Let's see. Tuppy is hairy and playful. And what's Tuppy's third trait? Mm, let's find out. Um, Tuppy is active. Okay, so Tuppy and, Her and Abby are literally the same. So we're for sure going to adopt Tuppy because Tuppy is adorable and it's the dog I wanted. Um... So we are going to adopt Tuppy, and then we will see about if we want to adopt either of the others. Um, get yes, we are going to take care of Tuppy. Oh shoot, we adopted Cashew. I wanted to adopt Tuppy. Um, we'll do. Uh, I don't know what to name her. Um. We'll do Sophie, I guess. Um, this one's Teppy. Um, okay. Oh, yes. We accidentally right. got the Cashew. Um, hopefully Cashew is fine. Cashew is now Sophie. Um, come over here and um, Willow was getting to know Teppy. I totally mixed them up. Well, maybe we'll get two dogs. We'll see. Um, I just, I really hope we didn't make a mistake with um, oh, little please. Sophie here. Um, oh, let's see. Get to know her. Um, Sophie is playful, vocal, and a troublemaker. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll make do. Um, and now Teppy, I want to see what Teppy is about. Does Willow know Teppy? Teppy is playful, hairy, and active. Okay, so we're... Screw it. We're going to get both because I really wanted Teppy. I really wanted Teppy. Um, and I like the name Teppy. Uh, I really wanted Teppy and we accidentally got Sophie, so we're just going to get two. So we have two puppies, which is... Um, kind of insane considering we have a baby coming too. Um, we're not going to get Abby because that would be, um, way too much. Um, yeah. So we have two puppies, which is a little lot of chaos, but it's okay. Um, ugh, we have a dust bunny. We're going to vacuum our dust bunny. Um, okay. And this is Sophie, right? This one is Sophie. I want Nova to come over here and I want her to. Um, can you simstagram her or only when she's sleeping? Um, she is so cute though. So let's come over here and offer our friendship. And then I want you to. Um, and then I want you to pick her up. Um. Yeah, let's see. And then June is going to come over here and offer friendship to Teppy and pick up Teppy. And I'm going to take a cute picture of, hopefully a cute picture of both of them with the puppies. So she's going to come over here, pick them up. Hurry, both of you. Okay. Can you pick up Tuppy, please? Uh, that would be really great. Um, 
Luna? Huh? And now I'll go ahead and I want each of them to snuggle the puppies. Um, hold up the cuteness. Yes, hold up the cuteness. So I can get a photo of both of you holding up the cuteness. Look how cute, you guys. That is so adorable. Um, <laughs> wow, a lot is happening in this part. Um, I think we are going to wrap up this part here, though. Um, we have gotten puppies. We have <laughs> cats die. We went on a date for another gender of a baby. So much happened in this part. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Make sure to stay tuned to the end for the screenshots. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!